I am the me- smelly metal man. You're losing <laughs> weight, Christopher. Get you on top of me. <laughs> You're not going to crush me so I can't breathe like Herbert was a thin man. He made his bed every morning. Don't you lose that dad bod. I, I like it a little weight. I always said that Herbert could have uh, had a few pounds because his, his bones, his pelvis was so bony and it would bang into mine and it would hurt me when he was <laughs> pounding me. He would pound me when he was pounding me and, well, I... How's everybody doing? I miss hey. you all. Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. We got Albino with the 31 Australian. Welcome back, Crick. Uh, biggest congratulations on the baby. You can now say, I'm doing it for my daughters. That's right, I'm doing it for my daughters. I got two back at the crib. They muckle up, they're ready to buckle up. Daddy, can I eat? <laughs> I don't know, baby girl, I'm gonna go out with Chris. Hopefully Chris is doing pretty good. Maybe sell one of them guitars for daddy. Maybe he be he done fucking that pussy to dust. I don't know how it would go. Chris doing a different kind of thing than I'm out here doing. I'm talking about real estate. Chris talking about crawling on top of a geriatric a little old lady trying to break that pelvis into 52 pieces, trying to make that celery stalk snap. Flippity flap, click clack, game came back. Um, 61,000. It's like a fucking gut job. Fucking sloppy mess. Hey, you want to come in my bedroom? It smells like piss. Can you smell? It smells like piss. Washer, stove, dryer. <laughs> so I can wash my clothes, cook them, and then I can dry them. <laughs> I'll cook you. Uh -huh, this is my dog, Wolfie. So uh, Want to see my dog, Wolfie? Wash him, cook him, and then dry him. <laughs> I, yeah, I clean him in the sink. I clean my dog. You want to see my bong? <laughs> this is my bong. From, this is my kiss bong. I knew a guy once. <laughs> I keep things in boxes a lot. You want to see my spice rub? I made jerky. You want spices some? Don't, spices don't go bad. Did you know that? Spices last forever. <laughs> so does Wolfie. His dog's walking around with his asshole hanging out of him. <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah, but 61 grand. I like that. Oklahoma. Full gut job. I mean, the house needs all the work and then some. Um, don't know what it is, but it's in the, a grade. looks like one in a million. So uh, if you do buy it. You know what to do with it. Man, you got any spare chains? Please, man! Now this here, Diego. this is a beautiful, beautiful Victorian with a dumb waiter. Hey, dumb waiter! Bring me my cheeseburger, my hamburger. <laughs> I want hamburger. Original Italian hand-painted sinks. Beautiful East Lake style carvings. What's going on in San Diego? San Diego's... I thought it was all like surfs up over there. It's, yeah, not here. It's craftsman style homes. You got the uh, radium heaters, <laughs> original radium heaters with Delft tile. Oh yeah, baby. Nice, nice hand done tile there. Look at that. Look at how nice, nice lawyer's office. Completely useless. Good, tight California attic. This guy was a movie poster collector. Is peeping Tom? I can see. From land and sky and over to sea. I like to look at my neighbor's pussy. <laughs> Arr! <laughs> He's a pirate guy. Too. He's a pirate. I'm a Victorian pirate. Arr! From boats and airplanes and over to sea. I'm spotting a 600 foot away from me pussy. No, uh, a really well preserved uh, Queen Anne Victorian with uh, all original woodwork detail, painted lady style, um, all the details accentuated. Upkeep was done well. The brick looks great. Exposed to aggregate and brick. Very proper use. Carriage house. Six and a half million seems really fucking steep, though. Like, really, really, really steep. I just don't see it. Um, you gotta really want to live there. Six million? Eh, nah. No, you're not even close, actually. You gotta, you're like, I, I'm not that much of a fan of Victorians. And I know that I know the, the, it demands that, but... 800 bucks a foot. That's a house for like the San Diego State basketball coach or something like that. Or someone who has like like a, a well-established family with large kids um, to buy the house. It's probably, that's, that's probably who, who owns that, but it's, it's all right. Um, we've seen this piece of shit on the, uh, this ridiculous hippie house on the, uh, on the, oh, it's down to 589. They dropped the price on this thing? Yeah. Oh, 10,000. Big deal. Wow. Mm -hmm. This house sucks. I fucking hate this thing. I hate like whimsical houses. They never sell. You know, there's a, there's, a, there's a line between, like, personalization and, like, whimsical fucking silly retardation. This is over the line. I mean, it's a, it's a shame because they have good taste in some things. 
it, rug? It's just too many. Like, look, it's just too fucking loud. This isn't maximalism. It's just too loud. The, the rug's good. It's a comp site. It's nice. But like, like that, that's not a technique. You know what I mean? Like, you don't sit a 1980s bathtub that you found and then slam some 12 by 12 tile and put bamboo ceilings and then a Memphis cabinet. Like, I get it. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to be a Tori Satsis and then you're trying to be yoga lady and you're triple Vermont hippie. And I get it. You had money, but this is bananas. This is a gut job. All right, you've got mahogany, you've got birch, dried birch wood and fake oak railings. Like, I don't give a shit. I mean, this is why hippies aren't taken seriously, even though 80% of them are good people. It's because of fucking psychopaths like you, like fucking gingerbread Gina selling her fucking weed edibles at the flea market. But her, she, the thing she's not telling you is her father invented Vaseline. <laughs> like, I'm tired of this shit. Like, your, da your dad invented fucking WD-40, and now you're a billionaire selling fucking edibles, but I'm supposed to take you seriously because you had $6 million five years ago when your grandmother died. Like, it's just too fucking much. Y you had bones for a house. You should have stopped when you were, while you were ahead. Instead, you just went full fucking, fucking Bernie Sanders yoga lady. Ugh. You know, like... All I can, you know what I see when I see this? Gray pubes. <laughs> piles and piles of gray pubic hair. Oh, man. Not guitar buying. <laughs> not good, no, not no, the good no. kind. They'll buy you, like, whatever that Indian guitar is. <laughs> oh, a sitar, a sitar a yeah. A sitar? Yeah. <laughs> Chris, if you like, if you can open up your sixth gate. They have a little bit of a different accent, too. They're like, Chris. Or, I don't even, you'd probably. Christopher, <laughs> I made you some oatmeal bread. I made you ginger tea. Yeah. I'm uh, like, I'm, I'm just over it. I, I've seen these, like, I hate this kind of shit. Like, over-personalization in homes is like, it's a fucking sin. Honestly, it's just, it's just like, I don't know. It's, it's like cutting your debit card into, like, the shape of a fish and it not working anymore. You cut the You cut the, uh, the chip off. Yeah, you cut the chip off. And you're like, oops. And you're like, can you still use it? The numbers are still there. May God be with you. And you're like, fuck out Follow here. Linda's Cozy Creations on Instagram. <laughs> I make cat straw bale wreaths and edibles. Yeah, like um, Bill Mass. That was close. Yeah. yeah, got it for four ninety nine, and my girlfriend is a loose slash groupious fan. Wants concrete floors. I'm Portuguese and having a panic attack over it. You're Portuguese and you have a panic attack over over concrete floors. Why are you so mad? You know your uncle Manny does the Portuguese at the cement house. Your uncle Manny is just so sad. You want to know why? He had a whole truckload of crushed stone on the job, but he bought his little dog a scooter. <laughs> he come in, he scooter, he tie a dog to the back, he dump a cr three quarter inch crushed stone and crush his head underneath. And the job was so late, we have no lights out, so we end up having to shovel the five yards a stone uh, by the bottom. He choke it down to death. <laughs> so we just break him up with the spade shovel, put him underneath the wall. <laughs> we break up a scooter with the shovel. Uh, oh, S A K E. The dog is gone. He very sad. Bah, Manny, cousin, dude, the concrete floors. Uh, I don't think. It, I don't think that's actually a. Uh, I don't think it's a bad idea. I mean, are these are these engineered floors fucking ass? It's okay if they are. You can be honest with me. Yeah, I think she should. I, th I think you should. I think you should do. Um, you need a paint job. That's first. Paint the outside by yourself. Nice house. Good house in Lakeville for four ninety nine. Lakeville's not cheap. Lakeville's a good sleeper in mass that people kind of sleep on. They sleep on Lakeville a little bit. Get this fucking treasure chest out of the yard, all right? We're not pirates. Arrgh, I'm fucking <laughs> retarded. Arrgh. I'm smart enough to do a nice galley kitchen, but I'm stupid enough to put a treasure chest outside in my front lawn. And you're the only person ever to buy this model of base model oak cabinet with the glass front. You bought the full glass front, the cheapest fucking cabinets in the history of the world, and you bought the two glass front ones. So we're going to drop those two uppers right off the rip. I, I get it. I know what she's trying to do. So uh, concrete floors wouldn't look bad. Um, it's going to be a lot. And she wants it all. I mean, I get it. That's a good look. I would do that too. Yeah. Like buffed. I don't even know how to do that. You're going to have to get an, like an epoxy guy or something. Like, fuck. How the hell would you do that? It's, it's not a bad idea. I mean, I get what she... Yeah. Um, so she wants to look like that. You can buff... I've, I've tried to... I got a price one time to buff... I have concrete floors in my barn. I got a price one time I wanted to fucking dry heave. Um, I couldn't believe... Oh, they're growing weed out there. It's a nice house. Um, you need landscaping. You need some neat up landscaping and paint. This front of this house looks like uh, just pie-faced uh, mid. It's just too mid. Window needs to be floor to ceiling. This one needs to be... You need three new dope windows, a dope garage door, and a dope front door. And then you need a full a full run front porch or just a better front yard. The, 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 front, the front of this thing is just ugly. But it's it's she's definitely a butterface because her body's killer. Good house. I like this open room. And the kitchen needs work. And uh, I get it. Unifying the floor will do you good. But I would paint all the walls white immediately. Just just go with a mountain peak white. Just the whole thing. Um, 
Don't paint the wood yet, but make it all one color. You'll be happier. And then you're gonna have to go with like a 60s style. It's like it's a mid-century house, man. You gotta go with like a mid-century sprawling ranch style aesthetic with this thing. And then um, change some of these doors, but you, monochromatic paint job, no trim. Don't don't alternate the color on the trim. Will will help you out greatly. But that vinyl siding on the front is fucking ass. It's like having braces when your teeth are straight. The house is nice. But it needs a front siding job, maybe. But it's a nice, a nice piece. You gotta spend 115,000 bucks on the house. You're gonna have fun. Go slow. Figure out which one you wanna do first. Um, the guy was like, "Shit." <laughs> oh man, I wanted to spend six grand. Oh, I sold my fucking GSXR. I was just trying to fucking turn that into a kitchen. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> uh, That's too much. I mean, simply put, that is just too much. Bad, bad, says the buyer. But when he goes away, then he boasts Proverbs 2014. Well, uh, yeah. that's from the Bible there, guys. Yeah. It's bad, bad, says the buyer. Proverbs 2014. Proverbs, uh, is that a, I don't know the Bible like that, but. Then he boasts. I don't, I don't know if you're like, biblically warning. I don't know. But I'll, I'll, when, I'm, when I'm at church, um, I'll look that up. I'm going to scream it from the mountaintops when I go to my black church this Sunday. <laughs> the organ? I play the organ at the black church this Sunday. Can't wait to go. See my girl, my girl Curtis. Should have tough thug lesbian. <laughs> tough WNBA thug lesbian that I hang out with. Um, her name's Curtis. Kurt, her name's she tapes Curtis. her tits down. 16000 for this house of rape. That's cool. God damn it. Voodoo. This house looks like fucking biker rape. Ugh. Have you ever been raped by a Hell's Angels wannabe that got kicked out? The guy couldn't even get in? Should I put away the bread? <laughs> the house that Jack raped. Holy shit. Fly tape in the kitchen. Jesus Christ, Grandpa. Put that away. Is that a certificate oh. in, the, in the kitchen? Certificate of authenticity. That's in loving memory. Um, this guy had a tough time dealing with death. He never really recovered. He was really close to his family. And this house is a, a complete gut job. I mean, absolute mess. I've seen him before. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is a complete gut job teardown. I've seen him before. This thing's soaking wet. Um, bet you that shower smells like a fucking dick. Nice house. I mean, I, I like the layout. I actually like I like the, the bones of the house. They're actually kind of cool. Um, I think this is actually Damn. kind of cool for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> I think the windows are decent. Uh, it could be cool. Let's put it that way. I don't completely hate it, but I don't like spending uh, where a house is 16,000, I think, or 15,000. Hey. Is it in a flood zone? It's your river. Right near Turkey City. Oh, that's wow. out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. It's off of Main Highway. Yeah, though. I kind of dig it. Fifteen grand. Yeah, Fifteen grand. Fuck? Yeah, it's a gut. I mean, it's gonna take sixty, uh, seventy. It's a shell. I mean, it's a fucking. This roof is fucking bent in the middle. If you, you got a, uh, a failure and all the way down, you got a, a nice structural problem to go on top of this thing. This is the eighteen sixties. I, I mean, look. Here's the deal with these things. I've known people that buy these things and just gut them. I had a friend. I, I looked at a house like this. Fucking this kid I know. I I used to sell antiques with him. I didn't see him for years. I looked at this house with my wife. I was like, oh, this is a pretty cool house, but the fucking land was kind of wet. But the house was like a really fucked up, just like this, just like this, like fucked up. It had like chestnut round log fucking floor joists. Like I've never seen that before, like tree log floor joists, but they're on. Yeah. And I was like, Jesus Christ, this thing's all sagging and fucked up. I meet up with my buddy like years later. He fucking just drywalled the house and moved into it. Like whoa. did like, and I was like, whoa. Whoa, bro, you fucking bought, first of all, you can't believe you bought this house. It was such a nice, it was yeah. cheap. It was a good deal. And then he just like gutted it, just went over it with drywall. And he was like, yeah, it's a new house. And I was like, holy shit, bro. Damn. Like he didn't think about it. Like I would, I would be like, I got to cut this part about, I got to put yeah, an LVL yeah. up here, hold this up. I got to straighten this house out. Balls My boy just like fucking went in there, painted it, like scraped it down. I was like, yeah, it's a house. I bought it for like nothing. Yeah. So you can do that. You know, you're five, you're $2,500 in dumpsters away from just gutting this place down and just starting over. You can do it. So don't let me tell you. Let me say, you could do that for 35 grand if you're super thrifty. I mean, you're, you're, you're buying boilers from a scrapyard that are working. You're doing your own plumbing. You're uh, making sure you, what you really want to make sure is your sewer and your water is, is draining. That's all you, as long as you got water, you're good. And your electricity, check that electrical panel. As long as you're like not totally fucked and you can handle what you're looking at, you might be able to just like tear that motherfucker down and just go for it. I did one. I did a uh, eight, 12 Douglas. It was raw. I paid 22,000 for it. That's, that's what I did. I just gutted it down to the studs and I started over. I re I, I have my best friend was a, an electrician. So I got the wiring done short. But I did the plumbing myself. I literally did Pex plumbing. I fucking, I bought the Zern tool and I returned it when I was done. I bought this like expensive tool yeah. and I did all the plumbing in like the middle of the night for like uh, two days and I just brought it back when I was done. I was like, it's broken. <laughs> I did that fucking, that was the one I robbed the fucking, but yeah. So honestly, 
take a long look at it. Make sure there's no violations on it. Soothe. Make sure there's no. Make Our sure that where's the poo poo go? Where's the pee pee go? Where's the water come in? Where's the juice come in? Let me know. Fifty fifty four Bukta Road, Bethalto, Illinois. This house sold for four seventy five. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. An underground house. Like guys, great houses tonight. This is great. I mean, they finished it like a fucking moron, but this house is so cool. Those are Italian. Those, those foil front cabinets. Wow, a soda, a soda machine. Oh. Get out of town. Laundry room. What does it say? Sorting life out one load at a time. <laughs> sounds, uh, sounds disgusting. Sounds like something. Uh, sorting life out. Tawny tits would say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one yeah. load at a time. I come on my laundry. <laughs> I come on my dirty Load in laundry. laundry. Stiff socks from jerk off socks. This is nuts. And it's a shame. Because it's cool. It's a bunker house and it's 400 grand and it's finished like a fucking an Italian MILF gun safe. I see you, baby. Bidet. Nice. I don't think I didn't see you put the plug behind the toilet for the bidet. I, I got you. <laughs> I like the way it feels, huh? <laughs> it's not bad, huh? Well, I like a little, you know, a little water on my ass. You know what I mean? Whoa. It's you know, like a little bidet. It's heated. A little heated rim job there. I want to take a shit. You know what I mean? I have a few too many. Sauce veal and peas, you know what I mean? Then I get a little rim job from my toilet. <laughs> that was only $109. But I keep it clean, honestly. Number one cause of colon cancer is nothing better than colon health. You know what I mean? Shooting water up your ass. Shooting water up your ass, you know what I mean? I'm going to go see... Uh, get an enema. Yeah, you know, I'm going to see Title Flight. I saw Fiddlehead a couple weeks back. They were fucking great. I was in the mosh. I was down there mosh, and I got good, t I got good mosh etiquette. <laughs> got good mosh style. A huh? little bit gay. You know what I mean? The bidet. That's a bit. It's a. It's it's finished poorly. It's a shame because literally the house itself, the bones. Uh, this is kind of like what I want to build. It needs new garage doors, new landscaping everywhere. The entire house needs to be gutted. Um, it's fat as shit though. Like, do not mince word. This this thing is dope. This wall sucks. The material's wrong. The roof's the wrong color. The garage doors are wrong. But what this thing is 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 cool as shit. Um, I like it a lot. <clears throat> I wish it wasn't finished by a moron that ran out of money, but it's cool. It's probably a concrete company owner. I dig it. Concrete homes. Uh, the one I had was very still and uh, it lived very well. I slept particularly well in it. It's probably dying of radon poisoning, but didn't care. I'd take it all over again. And for honestly, shit, if you can buy that, if you if you can buy that, buy it. Oh yeah. Oh damn. Tudor for two eighty nine down five one sixty one. I'm looking for problems. What's the problem with this thing? This is a run and buy if you're going to ask me. This thing's financeable? Horny. Me. Horny. This is great, buddy. Please go buy this. How big of a HVAC, guys? How many units? How many ton unit is that? What the fuck is that? Is that a generator? Is it a doghouse? It's a doghouse. Oh, right oh my God. My doggy. He, he bite. He like to chew the wires. Ow. And then he goes... <laughs> He's, he likes to he find bite people because he constantly hears generator. He likes to buy the lower jaw for the children, but he buy the generator. I put some uh, little bit of dog food on the and the connection outs, just your HVAC unit. I put it on the uh, zero out wire. I covered it in hot dog juice, <laughs> and then he bite, and then he fly into the sky. He fry. This house is cluttered too. This cluttered piece of shit. It's got guilt core. Christopher, she's. I built the. I put out all my holiday things. All my holiday <laughs> things. It's always Christmas in my ass uh, the house. <laughs> it's always Christmas in my pants house. My tutor. What would you you want to <laughs> see my candy cane? Uh, Victorians are always. I mean, Tudor is bad layout. I love that though. I like the original uh, porcelain hex tile. That's that's original. And then the uh, enamel cast iron farmer's sink. A shallow six inch with the faucet built into the wall. If you could steam clean that and keep that as is, that'd be great. You could keep it a casino and just get all this fucking crap out of it. This overstuffed clutter box. Why the fuck do you have? That's just probably not an operational washing machine. Probably doesn't even work. It's just sitting over there. She didn't know what to do with it. She hit on all her son's friends, so her son doesn't talk to her anymore. This stairwell was replaced. This is not original staircase. Oh, this is an attic bedroom. Petite prostitute. Is that what it says? Yeah. It says what? Petite prostitute. No. I'm no. <laughs> Pretty. Parisian. You got me. Hey, everything's kind of original in the house, so it's it's probably built in thirty-eight or forty-two or something like that. Um, it's filthy. I mean, it's a, it's a gut job. It's a nice piece. Um, oh, got an influencer. Oh. Got a ring light. Oh. Ah, oh, dream your fears. <laughs> 
Damn. Dream your fears. Dreams? <laughs> no. Dreams, oh. dreams overpower your fears, but it'd, just be, uh, it'd be funnier if it just said dream your fears. Dream your fears. Get off of me! <laughs> right, right, right. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. This house is fat as shit. Um, I would run and buy this. I love this type of stuff. Not an easy task. You gotta be handy. But if you puff this thing out, it will be dope as shit. The bathrooms are original and unmolested, literally. It needs like a deep cleaning and a decluttering. You need mechanical work, um, heavy mechanical work. The house is monstrous. It's gonna be $40,000. To heat and cool this thing, you have a $40,000 problem day one. I'll say that. Everything else is fully cleanable, declutterable, and you're gonna be left with, a, honestly, a fucking gorgeous house that lives very well. Your fireplace is gonna need attention. Your mechanical is gonna need attention. Your basement's probably gonna be a fucking rotted mess, but the park-like grounds, they were not lying about that. I like it a lot. I like it. I like the rear entry garage. It's nice. It's really nice. It needs a driveway. That's 12 grand, 15 grand. It needs, it needs some work. It needs some landscaping, but it needs a roof. That's fucking 40, 40, 50. That's a heavy roof. You're going to need just, you need a roof. It needs $150,000. So you need a hundred and you need about, you need half that. You need about 140, $150,000 walking into this project, but it's dope. It's very dope. This house in. <laughs> This house in Blockhouse Bay. In Australia? This is uh, definitely, this is Barfoot and Thompson. <laughs> oh my god, Christopher. Excuse He's got me. a hell of a virus. Yeah. There he goes, letting the Mucinex guy suck his dick in the taxi cab on the way home on the Chinese bus. Oh, Excellent. yeah. Excellent. Fuck. Oh, yeah, I sat right next to this dude. And he, you know when you like, you, you know you're sick, and you're like, well, I'm just gonna fucking get this guy sick. It's just inevitable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just like you're hitting with like goopy piles of tissues. Yeah, I'm like, hey, I was like, hey, is there an outlet on your side? No, don't touch me! <laughs> He's like panic, panicking Chinese guy. No, you don't need to touch. You're like, that's true. Oh. Your like eyes are puffing. You're fucking looking at the Chinese guys like panicking. Uh. Please don't touch me. Please go away from me, metal guy. You need to sit over there. Oh my god. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? What the hell's going on in this Australian house? This house is crazy. Look at this kiwi fruits. Look at that fruit in the water. What in the fuck is going on in the backsplash of this house? Well, seriously, what the fuck is going on? What in psychotic fucking hell is going on in this house? This is like Indian Australian opulence. Mm. This is an Indian guy's house. Fucking cool, dude. Dude, I fucking put the Scrabble piece art. Fucking cool as fuck, dude. It says Anisha. Oh, my, my. Man, this, this stuff sucks. This looks like a Alibaba import furniture. They did a leathered Carrera top. So they did the leather finished waterfall Carrera top on the marble. And then they did a Fruit 2 backsplash. Thank you for doing... Dude, yo, big props, bro. <laughs> Fruit 2 back... Oh, God. Bro, what the fuck? Fruitiger Arrow advertisement? <laughs> nah, it's Fruit Fruit 2 Fruit 2 Fruit 2 It's a uh, juicy fruits underwater, bro. I remember Fruit 2 Oh, man, it's so good, dude. Pro oh propel. man, I fucking love it. Propel, dude. Fucking dude, I hated that fruit shit. Fruit juice. Oh man, dude. In this house, we are a family. Have faith in. Praise Allah. Allah. Wow, I didn't know that uh, Muslims had the stick on stones. Did when the live, fuck did Paula Dean Allah. woman move out to be like? Excuse me, Al Fahar. <laughs> have y'all thought about putting like words with stickers on your walls? Like live, laugh, Allah. Like whatever y'all want. It's cool. We are all like. I wonder if like they got them. Like, like like Etsy like Etsy yeah. got yeah I'd rather be in Mecca but I'm here doing uh, right I'm here doing laundry with you <laughs> yeah. I was playing to, praying to the black cube <laughs> but instead I'm here in the casino <laughs> making cookies in the casino it could be I could have been back in Damascus <laughs> making a rug but I'm out here L live laughing and loving in <laughs> Auckland. That's strange. God damn. Yeah. Uh, no, this isn't good. This thing. This uh, feels like a uh, like a uh, an overpriced Chinese restaurant that's going to go out of business immediately. Okay. You know when you know when like Chinese restaurants make a bunch of money in a town Chinese and then they and, and Chinese, like Jackie's Galaxy. Yeah. Like they like <laughs> they get one restaurant and then they get two and then like the third one is like they build it like a casino. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know yeah. what I mean? Like they yeah. go to like. Jackie's Express. Yeah, then they get. They, uh, it looks like this is like fucking lights everywhere, but it's a uh, it's a it's it's an abortion of a house. It's made by it's it's concrete block building and uh, it's got a slick top driveway. So this thing looks like an absolute nightmare. Uh, it just looks like shit. 
Money spent in the wrong direction. It's probably not cheap. I hate it. It's two and a half million dollars. And more than that, how much is this piece of shit? Probably all the money. I've never seen a house built like this that the person wasn't completely delusional. So this is what happens when money uh, just goes in the wrong direction. Too many materials. It's loud. Cheap materials with expensive materials. And I'll do the big bull. I'll spend 2000 on a chandelier, but I'll spend 6000 on the, the siding. So, uh, yeah.